time to get serious with Mega March. Hello everyone, my name is Coleman X, and I am joined by my partner Twitch from Replied Revo. And welcome to Mega March. Woohoo! Mega March has begun! Yes! We are back for another year of fun every day of the month. I cannot believe we're doing it again. Oh yeah, we're back at it. The Ramblin' Reploids. You know, that's that's how you and me started. And Proto Dude and Yeah. Yeah, that's how we all That's we, how we all became Mega bodies. March that's is kinda that's how we, yeah. I didn't really think about that until you mentioned it just now, and I'm like, yeah, that was Mega March, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this um this time of year, you know, fills me with the warm and fuzzies. You know, I like it. Oh, I thought that was just allergies. I well yes. <laughs> <laughs> So this year we are doing Oops All Mega Man X. Um, oh, we are yes. we are going through the several 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 designs that it's X has. It's not really had. several if there's that many severals. It's really more like many <laughs> at that point. Many many I, several I, I, yes. designs. Yes. Okay. I think we yeah we've upgraded out of several and we are now <laughs> in many several. Yep, many several. We but, have a um, system. <laughs> there there are so many. This was going to be. Like a one-off, two-off video, uh, similar to the Zero video we did yeah, a while ago. Yeah, all Zeros. Mm -hmm. But, when we looked into it, there were way more X's than we thought, so... Oh yeah, he's, he's the, he gets around X. Yeah. It be so this became the the theme for Mega March, and there's going to be other stuff peppered in, so I hope you enjoy I hope X is your favorite character. Or, <laughs> hope you at least like him. Yeah, he's tolerable. <laughs> X is great. I mean, but, he's my favorite character, so you know this mm -hmm. this works out great for me. I can I'm loving it. Yeah, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a really good time. But um, this this whole this whole thing was requested by Dino a long time ago. Like when we did the zero ones, it's like well, you got to do X now, and then we yep. looked into it, it's like all right, we're saving it for March. Yeah, so, sorry Dino, didn't mean to to get your order late. It's just that uh. <laughs> Yeah, it turns out it was a pretty big freaking order, so um, mm -hmm. but, <laughs> it, this is something that we're going to have to split up amongst uh, several episodes throughout Mega March, because there's just, it's too much to cover. Yep. Um, but we're doing it, baby. We're going to go through. We're going to touch every single X. He might get a little annoyed and ask us to leave his personal space, but that's too <laughs> bad, because we're getting to every single one. Um, and I hope that you guys will enjoy this and will learn something new about the interesting versions of X that we have in store, because some of these are kind of obscure. Mm-hmm. Yep, we we scoured everywhere we could for X designs. I hope, I we, didn't, love hope we didn't miss any. Yes, I hope we didn't miss any. If at any point um, we missed any um, X designs, please let us know down in the comments. Preferably not while Mega March is still going on, because right. you haven't seen every episode yet, you smarty pants. So maybe you don't know that, you know, we, we, we're getting to one. Mm -hmm. um, but if at the end of this we miss any, please let us know what it is. And I'm sure that we'll be happy to sit down and rectify this, you know, uh, horrible atrocity. And <laughs> cover any remaining X's that we didn't cover. Absolutely. So, um, let's just jump in. Uh, today's episode is going to yeah, be man. the beta designs for Mega Man X. Oh yeah, we're starting before the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to take a look at the the birth of Mega Man X. Um, it's uh, pretty interesting. So what do we got in store for the first design here? I think I've got it up on my screen now. Um, it's Mega Man with a shoulder pad and a belt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there he is. Um, he's got like one of Sigma's shoulder pads is what yeah. that always looked like to me. He does, and he's got the fourth armor ear. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Aww, such a cutie. Like, like, you can tell that it was just like, okay, let's take Mega Man as a template, you know. But you, yes. can, already, you can already see some of X there, you know, he's got the prominent the head gem, crest, he's got the, the... The little M thing on the forehead, yeah. like, what you call that, the eyebrows. I always call it the eyebrows, yeah. <laughs> no, he's got the gem. But he still, he still, he still looks really soft, like that face, you know, and, and he's proportioned uh -huh. uh, more childlike. Yes, the mission statement, I believe, um, like the exact premise for Mega Man X that was like, 
what they were using to design the whole series was literally Mega Man, but in the future. And then okay. someone was like, but Mega Man's already in the future. And then KG and Afune <laughs> fired that guy. Um, so yeah, so you can see that this very first concept here for uh, Mega Man X um, is really just classic Mega Man with some extra details slapped onto him. And you can see some of like the... Um, uh, some of the staples of what would come in the X series already here. He's got a, a neat looking shoulder pad. Mm -hmm. um, his wrists are segmented, or at least they look like they are. Like the hand is separate from the uh, forearm bracer, the gauntlet. Um, he's got some ankle joints, which are kind of nice. I mean, I know the ankle joints aren't anything new, but I think it's the first time we've seen one in like a hero character. Mm -hmm. Like the uh, like it, the little wheel. Thing on there yeah the little you know the little cups <laughs> the hockey pucks on his ankles there we go uh, and and yeah he's got like the the forehead gem he's got the little m crest that you know comes out of the front of the helmet and stuff um and then he's got some neat junk stuck on his ears because it's cool looking <laughs> his but his buster has a uh, is more detail than uh regular mega man too yeah it's more sections to it you know it looks like the the front end of it is like silver Mm -hmm. I would guess I from like the metallic coloring that it's got, or the shading. Yeah, it might it's even have neat. Uh, might even have a gold stripe on it. I yeah, I kind of see that working depending on the rest of his colors. Something like that, and that's pretty cool, man. I like that. I like the you know how the it it is literally just soft boy Mega Man, but with some added details stuck on him. You know, mm -hmm. he's yeah. he's not really that tall. He's still kind of short and squishy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you know, th this could have been. A concept of having it actually be the same character, you know? Like, it could have been yeah. actually Mega Man in the future, not just a Mega Man character. Yeah, not not a new Mega Man, but rather, like, a, a uh, like, literally Mega Man, but, like, upgraded or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you can really see it in that design if you look at it through that lens. Yeah, and honestly, if you just take away the shoulder pad, if you take away the shoulder pad and just add... The, the little mohawk thing on top of the helmet, which I'm, I'm thinking of just doing a quick edit of so you can see. It's mm -hmm. it's just Mega Man again. Like, it's literally just him. Mm -hmm. You know? What's interesting, though, this is... I don't know if this means anything, but this is just my tinfoil hat moment here. He's got a buster on the right arm instead of the left arm, which is a staple of the X-Series, is that uh, anyone that uses a buster now seems to sport it on the right arm as opposed to the left. So that's oh, a neat yeah. little detail. Hmm. I didn't even think about that. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically, you know, that's that's kind of kind of it for for that. Like it it seems interesting that they were looking to get rid of his like little underpants thing. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have like the Superman undies. Yeah, he's and got the we'll Proto Man see... belt. Yeah, he's got the Proto Man belt and it's interesting to note that in some other designs here um, it seems like they were giving him less armor, you know, um, just kind of keeping to like the the helmet, gauntlets, and boots. Um, and we'll see that in like some of the other designs that they were kind of experimenting with less armor. Um, but as we know in the final, of course, X has got armor all over the place, um, and that ended up making him look way cooler, I would say. Oh yeah. Uh, but I mean, that is why they didn't settle on this one. This really does seem like. Okay, Mega Man in the future. What comes to mind? And this seems to be like their first idea. You know? Yeah, I mean, you got to start somewhere, and it's not a bad design by any by any yeah, means. It's, it's 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 fun. It, it's a fun little design. Um, it still has that like 1980s Mega Man is a cute squishy boy mentality to me. Yeah. It doesn't have the the Mega Man X edge that it'll eventually become to, you know what I mean? He hasn't earned the X in his name yet. Mm -hmm. But uh, you want to know what's right next to X on the keyboard? It's the letter C. All right. And this other design <laughs> has a very large letter C right there on his chest. It's your boy Casher, and oh, I'm just kidding. It's actually Mega Man C. Well, you know, Z is also next to X on the keyboard, so... Oh my gosh! We, you know, we got something sense. going here. <laughs> Alright, hold on a minute. I gotta put on a second layer of tinfoil hat for this. So, <laughs> we're looking at concept designs for Mega Man X while looking at a design that has a large letter C on it, because it is clearly inspired by Cash Earn, and right mm -hmm. next to C on the keyboard is X and Z. And the initial designs for Zero came from the initial designs... For X. 
It's all connected, man. It's all connected. It's all but connected. You know, you know what he looks like um, to people that aren't familiar with Cashern? What's that? George Jetson. Just look at that collar. Oh, you're right. It's he the future. Come. It's the future. <laughs> Future <laughs> Rockman. Yeah, um, he, uh, so, uh, we should probably throw up a picture of Cashern at some point, so we mm -hmm. don't stop tossing that name around with people having no context. Uh, Cashern, yeah, there it is, bang! Um, Cashern is a, uh, Tatsunoko anime superhero. Um, if you don't know what Tatsunoko is, they are an extremely popular Japanese animation studio, especially... Uh, in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, um, they are most famously known for things like Speed Racer, uh, Macross, um, Gachaman, which in the West was known as um, plan uh, War of the Planets, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and in Japan, we woefully never got Cashern. Uh, it was like a Japan exclusive thing. Um, and if you've seen Cashern, it is basically the, the template for Mega Man. There's a lot of Cashern influence, and apparently Inafune was a big Cashern fan because he basically just lifted the design and <laughs> slapped it on his boy. <laughs> but I think that's fine because um, this starts to make make him look more mature. You know, like I don't think this is another design where I don't think um, they were gunning for this to be like the final design. I think this is really them just feeling it out yeah. to settle on like the idea. Um, you can see he's got the Cashern C on his chest where his lapel would be, as opposed to, like, smack in the chest like Cashern. Um, he's got the gigantic popped collar. Gotta love the popped collar, man. Remember when those were cool? Um, you know, one thing I really like about this design that I never noticed until comparing it to that other one is the eyes are a lot more serious. You know, like, he looks yeah. cooler. He's he's got the 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 head shape that we will come to learn, you know, that mm -hmm. will come to be in the early versions of Mega Man X. He's got the the eye shape. He's got the 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 face shape, the chin and jaw, and the pointy nose. He's got the cool, like a nice Mega Man X era smirk. You know what yep. I mean? Yeah. Um, he's got got the little little um little line that goes under the under the under the mouth. Yeah, you know, that, that's very Mega Man X. It's definitely starting to to show, you know, just looking at the the shape of like the the one the first one and this one, you can see he's definitely shaping up to be more mature. Like, and I think borrowing from Cashern was a good idea. Like, if you look at pictures of Cashern from the '60s and uh, and stuff like that, like he he just looks like Mega Man X. Like, they definitely, yeah. and that was good because that's a, a good feel, I think, especially since Cashern and X are very much. Um, similar characters uh, as far as like their personality I think goes and like the way that they, they act um, and uh, you can even see the very first teasings of Zero in this uh, in this image yep you can see on the ear there it has the same silhouette as Zero um, and you can see like the gem is now very clearly like a triangle shape um, and it's got that kind of um, white spot on the top that connects to the gem Oh yeah. The rest of it, yeah. like I mean, it's only a line, so for all I know, it's all the same color. But that those lines are drawing the same kind of shapes that make me think of Zero. You know what I'm saying? Well, you can definitely see how this became Zero more than X because, especially the expression, you know, because Zero and X One was like, he was, you know, he guy. like he looked like he knew what was going on, you know. And yeah, looking at these two bits of concept art of this design, which I feel like they must have really liked, because Inafune drew two versions of this concept art. Mm -hmm. Which, uh, and also, just as a little tidbit, those three guys with the bald heads, the, the, the evil Betty, you know, barbershop trio, <laughs> um, they, uh, they are the X-Hunters. They're, like, a concept for the X-Hunters, which were supposed to be in X1, and then they settled on Sigma, um, and then after, you know, they settled on Sigma, they were like, well, let's bring back the X-Hunter idea. And so, um, that's where they came from. Um, and it was pretty cool. Um, also, Sigma is inspired by Breaking Boss, who is the main rival of Kashern in the Kashern series. And so, that's, uh, I mean, like I said, Mega Man X and Kashern just go hand in hand. 
Yeah, there you go. That's just how it is. But yeah, man, I get uh, that's kind of interesting. Look at him. He's got the smirk. He's looking more confident. This is like a Mega Man X that seems like cool and like I feel like I don't know why. Like I know it's Cashron, but it gives me like a Lupin the Third kind of feel. Like he's just too cool for school. I you know what I mean? That. It's yeah. like, yeah, there's there's a bunch of crazy stuff happening. The world's ending, whatever. But I got it. I'm I'm more confident and cool. You know what I mean? As mm -hmm. opposed to the much more serious and dire X. You know, this this one yeah. seems like he's, he's he's confident. You know. I mean, if you if you look at you know just the helmet, the um, the expression, just mm -hmm. all of it, it looks like just X and Zero, just they Patara fusion. You know. And here they yeah, are, some wearing kind a jacket. Of, yeah, but he's wearing like a cool jacket at the same time. But that's what um, the C stands for, cool. Oh, that is what the C stands for. Okay, so this is Cool X. <laughs> uh, and not Collar X. It doesn't ah, stand for the big collar that he has. Cool Collar. <laughs> cool Collar X. <laughs> well, I think we should ditch the collar and go to the next one, because we're, getting, we're getting closer. No, we're, we're inching closer, yeah, we're getting there. Yeah, because now we have chest armor. Oh, yeah, that's what the C has been replaced with. Aha! It all the makes C sense. Just oh, pretend that guy spelled that with a C. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, man, now we're starting to hit that Mega Man X style stride. These yep. two versions of X, um, they could easily be like background NPCs in the X series, and I would have no problem with it. They look oh, like they fit totally. right in there. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely fit the Mega Man X template. Yep, just need to segment the feet and you're good. Yeah, and you know, I can totally see see that happening. And what's interesting about these two designs is that um, they're both the same, um, except for the fact that um, one of them has the ears from the Kasher inversion, uh, mm -hmm. and the other one has like a neat looking, like swooped back, like moving really fast kind of look to it. Um, and, uh, it's interesting how that one little detail makes one instantly look like Zero, and the other one instantly kind of looks like X, just because yeah. you've taken away that that head silhouette. Yeah, if you if you just change like if you color one of them red and one of them blue, you know, like you could have these designs similar enough, and I'd be like, okay, yeah, this is yeah. this is just X and Zero. Yeah, um, I kind of wish that we ever that we got a character that had that cool swooped back ear. That thing looks super cool. I really like nice. that that nice sharp angle like he's moving really fast I, th I think that's a cool idea um i also like that chest plate that chest cover the chest mm -hmm. thingy um yeah. that is also the basic prototype for what zero's chest would eventually go on to be um oh, yeah, i think is. they make it a point to show that x's chest is more round whereas zero's is kind of sloped on top and then it like tucks it like it's a, a little angular um and they really really emphasize that in maverick hunter x so you can see it uh, easiest there um so that's really cool that you can see, like, oh, this is where they're getting Zero's ideas from, you know? Yeah. So it, it's it's there. It's, it's getting there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at it. You could see how they're just a couple steps away from yeah. X and Zero that we know. Yeah, and even here there's a quote from Unifune that says, These are sketches of Mega Man, but you could see a bit of Zero in him. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it is right there. It's, it's getting there. Um, and you know what? I'm not even entirely opposed to, like, the, the squishy legs that they have on these. Um, I think that if there was a Mega Man X character that had legs like that, it could work. But I know that it's not really part of the aesthetic anymore. But if they did, I wouldn't be opposed to it. Like, if maybe they colored the boots differently from... The, like, so maybe the top half is red or blue, and then you make the boots, like, black or gray or something like that. Okay. Um, and made them squishy. I feel like you can get away with it because now they look like boots as opposed to like leg armor. Mm -hmm. um, but even so, I mean, I just I love these designs. Literally one step away, and they, you know, would fit right in. So that's really cool. I like it. I like it too. Oh, uh, one little note uh -huh. that I want to—you can probably edit this back in for the Cashern one. Sure. Um, I find it interesting also that um, Kashern has the little power gauge on his arm with the fist. Oh, yeah. Um, and there's, he also has a buster. Does this imply that he might have had two busters at some point? Maybe. 
Or maybe he's got the power gauge on both and he can just switch whichever arm he wants to be the buster. Yeah. I'm wondering. Like, I wonder if this was, like... I mean, if there's already the X Hunters before X1 was even, like, finalized, I wonder if the idea to give him two busters was something they were considering. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. But right. I'm, I'm so glad that all this art is saved and we mm. get to see it, you know? Like, like I couldn't have imagined this when I was, you know, when I was a kid playing the game. It's like, okay, this is what it is and that's it, uh -huh. you know? Oh, yeah. Like, when I first got the, the R20 book, I ordered the one from Japan. Mm -hmm. um, and the first time I saw this, I couldn't read any of it, of course. But I was just mesmerized by all this artwork that I've never seen before. And it's so fascinating to me to see it, you know? Yeah. God, just, man. Just uh, really incredible stuff. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad we can you can trace clearly the design evolution of... Um, you know, going from cute and chubby 80s Mega Man to, you know, cool and badass 90s Mega Man X. You know what I mean? You can literally yeah. follow the progress as they were developing the idea um, and landed on something that was really close um, to what we would eventually get in the final design, which yeah. we will be covering in next the next time. episode. You know, one thing about these, I really wish that they were dated, like, when they were from like maybe they wrote mm. it on the back of you know whatever they drew it on like I, I know you know like with stuff that no one's ever gonna see it's not you know that's not a priority but man how, how cool would that have been to be like okay it took you know x amount of months to get from here to here or whatever you know like that yeah. that kind of stuff fascinates me yeah um artists if you're out there and you're working on anything of value please date your stuff um, well, I mean, everything's digital, so you can look at the files now, as long as you don't, like, you know, mess with that. Um, but yeah, I used to date all of my stuff so that I could see, like, when I made things. Um, mm -hmm. and, like, you can look through your artwork and you'd be like, wow, I improved this much from this time to this time. You know, like, I know that there's, um, a couple of drawings that I had bonus level take a look at, and she was like, you improved a lot in, like, one year. Like, if you look at when I started versus the last drawing. Uh -huh. She's like, it only took one year, and there was, like, a big jump in improvement, and I guess you can kind of follow those kind of things but aside from improvement yeah it's kind of like you said if you just mark when you did this design um you can say oh it took them this long to figure out what they wanted x to look like and that would be really nice to to see you know and just imagine all the artwork that we're not seeing because there oh, yeah. is a lot more artwork like what they put in r20 i know they call it the official complete works no, it's not the it's not the complete works. Oh, there's no. actually quite a lot of artwork that just never gets to see the public eye, um, which is unfortunate. But um, it's cool that we got to see this little peek into it, you know. But uh, mm -hmm. there, there's definitely lots of art, artwork out there that we haven't seen yet, and uh, I'm really hoping that um, you know someday it'll come to come to the surface and we can enjoy it. You know, who knows? Maybe Mega Man X Nine will have a, a really nice gallery mode. Ooh. That'd be great. Oof, nice gallery mode for X and Fiftieth anniversary will have like all the napkin drawings and everything. I would love nothing more. I want to listen to that X one password screen, like a nice relaxing jazz remix of it, mm. and just flip through the artwork. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's how I'm gonna spend my evening. Oh yeah. But um I guess that does it for Beta X. Uh, there's not too much more to discuss. Next time we get to talk about just plain Mega Man X, the way he is presented, and maybe a little bit more. Yeah, we're going to talk about the, the good old-fashioned vanilla Mega Man X. And um, the, the more the years go by, the more I like how simple the design is, but I don't want to give away too much now, so join us tomorrow for Mega Man X. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We will see you then. We're going to talk about our favorite blue boy. And uh, I can't wait to see where we go from the start of this month all the way to the end. It's going to be quite a ride as we go through these multiple designs for our uh, our favorite Maverick Hunter. Yep. So, uh, yeah, I think that's about all I got to say for now. And uh, we thank you for watching. Uh, who, would, who is your favorite uh, design of X out of these concept arts? Is it, uh, is it yes. Casher and X? Is it squishy 80s Mega Man with junk on his shoulder? Or is it, you know, these guys who are very clearly just extras from the backgrounds of Mega Man <laughs> X? <laughs> uh, let us know down in the comments, and 
we'll see you then. All right, take care.